Hey Capricorn, it's Gwen, and this is your What's the Goods energy reading. So it's for Taurus season. Taurus season is all about love, beauty, and wealth, and surrounding yourself with luxury luxury in life, and you know, how can we take care of um, our home, as in the place that we reside, but also our temple home, our body. And um, we are going through an intense season of eclipse, um, eclipses, and this next one in, in, in Scorpio, the lunar eclipse in Scorpio, there's some big transformations that are going to happen, and, and some old wounds may be triggered for deeper healing, and we're in a retrograde, so, you know, that always causes, you know, delays, and, but those delays are necessary, a time for rest and rejuvenation and reviewing you know, and that could be a review of the past. Scorpio is that sign of transformation and rebirth. And we're going, it's a five, five, five portal. So big changes and they could have, they could be multiple changes. Eclipses are about what's growing dark and what's being illuminated in your life, darling. So let's start. This is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, if you want your own reading, I'm I'm scheduling them, so just reach out to me through email um, or on Instant Messenger. You can follow me on Facebook or Instagram as well. I'm Mystic Gwen. Um, thanks for all the support you give the channel, Capricorn. I love you guys. The comments help so much, and that's also your way to be entered into a chance for a free reading. I give one away each month, so drop in a comment, get you entered. If you don't know what to say, just drop a heart. It helps the channel. It helps the messages to be seen. And, um, you know, I just thank you for your love and support. And let's get started, okay? We're going to do playing cards first. I thought I'd add something new in. and It's a little surprise here. So when I get an ace out with my when I'm reading playing cards, this it's always a new beginning, kind of like it is in the tarot cards, okay? Diamonds is about wealth. Diamonds is about finances, money, manifestations. It's a brand new, possibly, job opportunity, a lump sum of money you didn't expect. It's a, a yeah, that's what I would say with that. It's it's in regards to a home, too. Maybe it's a new, it's a home loan. We've got the Ten of Diamonds, which in my deck is, is that, it's that Ten of Pentacles. So it's happy home, happy life, happy wife, stability, okay? And now I've got the Queen of clubs energy and it's a it's a feminine energy um that is powerful okay um she's the one that creates new beginnings she is the master manifester energy here okay so you manifested a new beginning um and it even could be an, a new home here um 10 of diamonds also talks about inheritance as well um there's been some as underlying energy eight of diamonds eight frequency is usually about harmony coming in but it's after a lot of hard work or trial and error so hard work within relationships hard work at work okay and now you've got your 10th pentacle here your 10th diamond a new opportunity where you are in the power seat, okay? With great uh, response, with great power comes great responsibility. Is this um, Queen of Clubs, and it's usually a oh, older feminine energy, dark hair, light eyes, like green eyes, whatever. It doesn't have to be. It feels like Queen of Wands energy, I want to say. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy coming into your reading here. Okay. Um, the harmony about finances had to do with your emotions tied around. There was a depressive state with the Four of, Cup, Four of Hearts here as well. Okay. So when we are talking about diamonds, y'all, we're talking about... The money, right? But that means we're talking about your worth and how you feel, okay? And right now, I, I, this is this is all. The, what's the goods? Good financial stability coming and even in your creative endeavors. Like this is, I'm talking to an entrepreneur. I'm talking to a leader that inspires other people. This is a very attractive energy here, okay? Love that for you, Capricorn. 
Um, and as the underlying energy from my um, animal deck, I have the bee spirit, which is talking about cooperative adventures and success coming, satisfaction coming, tasting the sweetness, the nectar in life. Um, after a lot of hard work, sevens, a situation is evolving. Like the hive can't work on its own. It's a, it's a cooperative adventure here. Sweet results away. Okay. And so the surprise for the reading is I've been drawing postcards. So maybe you've been thinking also about travel or maybe, you know, like sending a postcard is definitely an old fashioned kind of way of connecting with our family. You know, so maybe it's a need to do that, to connect with some familial fam family roots. Bark, bark. Yeah, I take those signs as purposeful, okay? Dog energy is about being loyal as well. So um, the postcards here, it's an old-fashioned kind of way of writing. Rough, rough, yeah. So the one that I have here is actually a magnet. And it has a picture of, and I was talking about that queen of clubs here being like drawing in new opportunity as well. Highly magnetic force here. Um, there's a balance of creative force and receptive force with this queen of clubs. And that comes here with this whale as, as well. The whale is a, in an energy of, Take your, take your creative energy deeper, okay? Like exploring the depths of your creativity. Um, and also it's about like coming up for that breath of fresh air, like embracing mystery in life. Um, like those, uh, how awe-inspiring it is when we see a whale and we never know when that's going to surface. So to, yeah. Hump, this is the humpback whale being depicted here, and um, it's Kohola, and this is from Maui, the island of Maui, which is, if you didn't know, um, the islands are programmed to heal the um, chakra systems, each island, and I was on Maui, which was the um, healing island for the sacral chakra, so that could be coming into play here as well. So greater depths of creativity after a lot of exploration in the dark. Block, print, magnet. You are a magnet for success. There's all kinds of stars being depicted here. The black and white balance, yin-yang energy. I feel with that as well. Whew, I love that. So that's a taste of read, reading my postcards. I love to collect postcards. Or people give me postcards, and then I intuitively read one. I draw one out for your reading. So that was what I had for you, Capricorn. Whale. What a power animal to have at this time. Okay? Explore those deep emotions. The darker emotions, the ones that we keep suppressed as well. Because there's much... It's like taking that pain that whatever it is, that darkness or that truth or whatever, and turning it into power with this queen of clubs energy. The clubs is a lucky omen in your reading here today. Okay. So now let's talk about the other animals that are present, helping you during this transformation, during your rebirth. You have the elephant spirit here. So elephant always makes me feel, it feels like Taurus energy, so you could have Taurus in your chart. It also feels like Mother Universal energy loving you, Capricorn. Card 25 is a 7. So 7s, that's a lucky number for you right now. Okay, there's a big change ahead. They want This elephant wants you to learn from the mistakes of your past. That's what your ancestors are here saying. Elephant always tells me, tribe with me, ancestors with me. Protect you and your tribe and the ones that you love. Learn from the past. Integrate your wisdom going forward. This is a mask. I feel Mother Universal energy always with the elephant, but this is with the tusks. It's a masculine energy here. Protecting tribe, protecting home, it feels like. Um, there's been an inner battle that uh, is being depicted here when the beaver and the dove come in reverse. Okay. 
This is about being at peace, being at peace with where who you are, being at peace with where you're at in life. That energy, the dove is a, a all the birds are messengers, but this is the one that brings peace. And there's been, it, it just shows me that inner battle, the inner conflict that has been happening for you. Okay. But maybe it also tells me too, that you're releasing that inner battle um, because the Ark of the Covenants here. This is my Akashic Records tarot. So this is the Major Arcana uh, number 11, which is the Justice card. Balance being restored. What the energy you're putting out into the world coming back to you. Fairness being restored. Okay? You have found something from within when we're talking about the Ark of the Covenant here. Card 11, self-trust manifesting you found the gold within okay like see how they are resting too like they're taking a time out to, away from their scrolls or their maps here or what's inside this tent from and and taking a time to sit around the fire and tell their stories and taking a break to rest that's important for the ark of the covenant and this peace um, and then the beaver, you know, the beaver is always working, working that, that on the dam. Okay. And it, to me, it just feels like, and it's, yeah, it's always about home foundations with the beaver. Lay a solid foundation, right? And so the, the solid foundation had to be dismantled or disrupted or like, yeah, for the, the walls to come down around the heart as well. Yeah, the five of keys, which is the five of pentacles. And that is feeling a sense of feeling isolated, not feeling the love from the family. There, Where is the family? There's a plethora of food on the table, but where's everybody eating together? The house is empty. The home is empty. So this is about your wishes, though, being fulfilled. Right? Like, you, you there's something about having to work so hard for it in this and the reverse. Okay, and, and open to receiving the green heart healing, the harvest years here. Look at that abundance on the table here. Your wishes are being fulfilled. There's just such an expansiveness and airiness and openness and sun shining through the windows here. It's a big change coming, okay, with the five. You hold the key. Okay, you are creating this abundance. About it, abundance is a mindset. It's about how you feel within. Okay, it runs to you and through you. What do you? We can always feel abundant. What do we have more than enough to give of to others that need us? Can we give love? Can we give understanding? Can we give compassion? Can we give of our time? We always have something to give. Don't let the abundance stop with you. You are not alone. You are so loved. Nothing is wasted. The vulture is here. Vulture always signifies. It's a scorpionic energy. A time to let go and surrender. You have No time has been wasted. You've been learning valuable lessons, right? It's about maybe you've been also like recycling lessons, like be repeating lessons, I feel. Okay, but spirit's here to say nothing is wasted. This is a time of rebirth, death, rebirth, new cycles of life. Ending and beginning, card 36. Yeah, you may have thought that you took the wrong road. I've got the Eight of Scrolls here in the reverse. Okay, that's the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Feeling like I don't know which choice to make. Feeling trapped, feeling stagnant, okay? Feeling, yeah, lost a bit, okay? Um, and they want me to read that one to you, so I will. And then we're going to get into your love story. This path's unknown when it comes out in the reverse. It is um, the only card that has come out in the reverse. So I want to read it, when, read it to you. You may find yourself feeling very undecided and hesitant to move in any direction when this card is reversed. It's not only a time to look into the dark, but also a time for looking backward. The path on your left is partially illuminated by the sun and calls you to invest, investigate it. Leads to a past or a past life, relationship, talent, or experience. 
If you look into the history and go back to resolve the issue or reconnect with the past person, occupation, or deed, you'll open the way to future success and your decisions will become clearer. No matter the reason why you're hesitant, challenge yourself now to break free from fear and inertia. It's amazing how many unexpected opportunities pop up into your future when you look behind you and how much you can bring to light when you step into the dark. Ooh. Close your eyes and see a path cloaked in shadow before you. It might be a little scary because it's unknown. Step right into the shadow and feel yourself fill with the excitement of uncertainty and unknown opportunity. Are you ready for a surprise? Ooh, darling. Maybe even focus too as the underlying energy here on the Akashic Records about your health, okay? The divine physician, or maybe there is a need to refocus on that, filling up your own cup, taking care of your body. This is the lover's card as well, and with the cherry blossoms there. Love is all around you. You got to, like, there's a healer here. See how the energy is flowing out of, of the hand here to this woman? So I could be speaking to a healer, knowing your own healing abilities, or maybe um, reaching out to somebody for some energetic healing, like Reiki being shown there. Magic flowing through your hands, darling Capricorns. Okay, so, and six is, when I talk about the lover's card, it also could mean choices in love for the Capricorn. I want to tune into my um, love notes from the universe deck. This is what I created, and it could be things left unsaid, thoughts, feelings, what's going on within the connection, signs, symbols, synchronicities. We'll see what wants to come out. You'll know if it's your story. If it's not, don't try to make it fit. Just take the ones that resonate. If you want your own personal love reading, I can do that for you as well. So reach out. What do we got for Capricorn during Taurus season? What's the goods in love? What's the goods in love? What's the goods? What's on the table here? Patience, dear one. <laughs> Feels all kinds of temperance energy. I like that light blue color for you, okay? It's just a feeling of your thoughts being clear and fresh. I'm patient for this love, okay? It's like a breath of fresh air feeling, clarity in the thoughts. I can be patient for this love. That's what I hear. I'm patient. Patience, dear one. What else for Capricorn? Woo! There's a chunk. Somebody is fired up, and I'm talking about intense chemistry within a connection. Passions within a connection. Fired up. Somebody's up. Okay? It also could mean just a particular, it depends on, I'm talking to a lot of you out there. So uh, could be like fired up emotions, anger as well. Okay? So we've got patience and fired up. And uh, you light up my life. That same orange energy here. Sun energy, but it's a bright orange sun, so it's about that creative force, joy, bliss in your life, healing to the sacral chakra. I continue to talk about the sacral here. Uh, my love for you is evolving deeper. Okay, it's rooted in love. Okay, the brown color, the dirt color there, brown. I knew the moment we met, it was you. So it's almost a feeling of like love at first sight, and that's right underneath this fired up. So I'm not feeling like that's an anger kind of thing right now. Um, there's a lot of nostalgia for the past here. The best thing to hold on to in life is each other, Audrey Hepburn. So somebody may be, um, ha I just feel like there's a lot of old-fashioned values here. Um, it could be a connection from the past that's hard to let go of as well. There's unconditional love within the connection. It's the green heart healing card and forever tangled. It, that eight and the temperance energy I feel there with the pa patience, dear one. Wow. Yeah. A lot, there are some dark truths that might be revealed here with this eclipse season as underlying energy there. 
So there you Capricorn. Forever tangled. Wow. It's like this person's a magnet. Like keep coming back to each other again. And so as I said that, a white card flipped out onto the table. So let's see what that one's all about. There's two of them there. Lay it down. So this one's been coming out a lot lately for these uh, Taurus season eclipse readings. And it's about laying down like the truth because it's a white card. Um, laying down the sword, I've been saying. So the fight. Lay it down. The regret, the past, the remorse, the anger, the bitterness, anything like that. Lay it down. Somebody also might want to lay you down is what I've been saying in these love ratings, okay? This connection is magnetic. You can, It's hard to lay it down. It's a hard habit to break. It, you just keep coming back to each other. It feels almost yeah, forever tangled. There's gossip that surrounds the situation. Um, the garden of love and my love for you is evolving deeper. Be rooted in that. Growing deeper in love. Plant seeds of unconditional love with the garden of love. And love is the flower. You've got to let it grow. Again, be loyal to who you love. The dog energy there. And love is when you sit beside someone doing nothing, yet you feel perfectly happy. So you just really enjoy being with this person and their energy. There's gossip around this connection. Sometimes that happens. Absolutely. When your love is shining so brightly. Oh, look at that pop out when I said that. Okay. And we'll leave it there. That's a lot of cards. Okay, what's the underlying now? Somebody's feeling rather lonely, so there's a need to focus on that. that that's that bright pink color tender self-care here okay self-love you ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight so this person has a bit of a bad boy darkness to them bad girl image yes i know exactly who you're dancing with right capricorn you ever dance with the devil you ever dance with me you're the devil in the in the deck <laughs> just love that movie and that quote you can dance with the devil on the pain of the night. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You feel me, Capricorn? Listen more, talk less. There's a lot of unconditional heart healing that happens within this connection when this happens. Listen more, talk less. Somebody's been doing a lot of dreaming. Yeah, especially if they're feeling lonely. And what's this? Some, there's some sort of big surprise. Exclamation point. And it's coming. It's white. Okay, clarity coming with that white truth, the blue exclamation point. You light my heart on fire. You light my heart on fire. I love that for you. Okay, and what's behind this feeling lonely? Somebody's suffering in silence. Somebody's writing, maybe there's a lot of um, love notes being written as well. Like that that whole arrow there through the heart is, is you know, somebody's suffering through silence. I need you like a heart needs a beat distance within the connection here. It's feeling lonely. All right, that's what I have for you today, Capricorn. If this was your reading, you want me to tune back in, give you some more advice, just drop me a message. I love you guys. Let me know how it resonated. Thanks for those good karma donations. Take care of you during the season, okay? I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed this.